Howdy guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to another video of Westland Survival. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. So if you guys are tuning into this episode, you know what we're going to be doing today. And it's been a little bit of time since I've done the last tube opening. So um, the last time I did one, that's when tier six had just dropped and I was kicking myself because I opened up a whole bunch of tubes before that dropped because I had no idea that was actually going to happen so unlucky on my side of things but we digress it's okay it is what it is because there's always going to be another day like today so we are going to jump in and we're going to open up a whole bunch of tubes now this time round, i also have um a few a couple of burial wild tubes i believe i've got two uncommon uh, sorry one uncommon i think and two common ones so we'll see what those are all about as well so yeah we are going to do that today and as you can see i've got a whole bunch and not only that i do have some rare tubes as well so we've got those um here so i've got a couple of, of common and uh one uncommon and i've got a whole bunch of standard common and uncommon as well now there is a chance and i have seen it as well i can confirm that you can get a small chance of um, opening up a tier six um blueprint as well from uh, common and uncommon tube so without further um delaying the fact we are going to go ahead and open up a whole bunch of these today so oh i didn't even see what that one was actually um, let's go into that and it was the deputies. Okay, that's fine Just didn't want to miss out on a tier six just in case if that were to be but you know uh, The disciple bag, okay, is that new? No, that's not new. I've already I've already seen that before. That's fine Oh, there you go We got the push dagger. Look at that 700 damage Amazing. So there you go our first tier six pull. There you go. It only took us like, what a half dozen give or take of or about a dozen there you go um so stealthy strike from the sh uh, shadows made at the forge let's go see what that actually um entails as well because i'll be keen to see what that looks like too so there you go from a um from a common tube there you, there you have it so that's what that's the recipe that's what you're going to need it's got a pretty decent amount of armor penetration as well um damage is 709 so that's actually not too bad um and the requirements is yes you need a bit of coal you need a bit of leather and you need a bit of tungsten to make it all happen so there you go guys so i'm, I'm expecting i'm hoping to get some pretty good stuff particularly with the uncommon tubes um there you go we've got some <laughs> we've got an upgrade to the wanderer's pants the fence went up too 416 not too bad at all um but yeah that's what i'm hoping for i'm hoping for tier 6 anything and everything you know we are going to get a large quantity of regular stuff as well so it is what it is but i'm not too at all fussed about that if we can get some pretty good upgrades i'll be happy um with that particularly in the weapons uh, side of things and there you have it we've got a browning upgrade um so that is a tier six as well um armor pen went up to oh so it actually um affected armor penetration that's good i'm actually um happy with that so 925 83 plus damage now did that actually change the fact here and my, uh, not only that i am upgrading this because and we are going to be getting the browning weapon so 925 okay so i think that was 840 then i think that was 840 so that's not too too bad but look we've got better we've got better pistols we know that the sw2 would like to would like to have a word basically um so sw1 speak of um the, the lineage uh the winchester gallery gun awesome so that's got up to 1100 and that is also another t6 so that is actually not too bad and armor pen went up to 63 so i'm actually happy with getting a little bit more of that as well we can continue on that trend i'll be pretty pretty happy with myself um more wonder upgrade which is good that's up to level five on the blueprint scale so i think that's going to be maxed out unfortunately perfect the wanderer's jacket we've, we've seen a bit of an upgrade to that so the more upgrades we get of that as well it's actually going to aid and help me along and we've got the wanderer's hat which is great we just need the boots now to come on board as well and get some upgrades that'd be lovely if that would happen um so but we are getting some deputies upgrades as well coach gun is seeing a bit of love there too and so is the recurve bow
Coach Gunn again. Uh, SW1 is getting a bit of love as well, <clears throat> which is actually not too bad either. Uh, the Henry 44, another upgrade, pretty good. Uh, Cowboy, Cowboy again, <laughs> Henry again, uh, Winchester, uh, Winchester Gallery Gun 1200, so we are getting up there with that as well, so that might be a viable weapon for us as well down the line. Um, so I'll get to find out in the next few days because we'll, we'll be able to start crafting them. The Whaley Knife, nice, so that got a bit of an upgrade as well, so that's over 600. I think you make that one at the Forge too, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Ranger, uh, Deputies, Winchester, uh, Sabre, which I really don't care for to be fair. The Wanderers, there you go, see the Wanderers being capped now, so yeah, so it's going to sit around the mid 400s. Um, now unfortunately but it is what it is the wanderers boots a bit of an upgrade so we're up to blueprint level four on that one um so that's okay not too bad at all the browning musket don't care for that um herbalist don't care for that it's not bad um again getting up there with that there's that 903 with that one again Okay, range of shotgun, nearly up to 700, so that's not bad at all. But the armor pen is trash on that too. That was like only 10. Um, let's just quickly look at that as well. Uh, go back to... Yeah, armor pen penetration is terrible on that. So you get to see on how well... Um, I guess armor pen is going to be um, a massive thing, especially in Boreal Wilds as well, because they are some pretty hectic um, uh, bandits up that way as well. So, yeah... I feel like that's something that we're just going to have to be um, focusing on later on in life. There you go, Frontier Hat. Look at that. That's our first uncommon um, pull for our clothing, which is great. So happy with that outcome there. So that's level two. Not too bad at all. Uh, SW2, getting some love with that one. Actually, I was thinking about it before. The Schofield is, is the weapon of um, that I was thinking about before. Schofield, not the SW, Jesus. Um, push Dagger, not bad. I'm keen to actually craft that too, actually. Once I actually get the Forge, the Forge is probably going to be one of my last ones that I'm going to end up doing. Um, Frontier Jacket, nice. Perfect, so we've got some uh, Uncommon coming through. So now I just need um, the pants and the shoes. And I've got myself the Frontier set, which is great. I'd love to get the other ones as well. Um, is it called the Klondike, I think? I, I can't remember. But yeah, it would be really, really nice and neat to see all of that happening as well at the same time. There you go, Wanderer's Jacket, bit of an upgrade there. And we'll compare some of that as well to see if it's um, viable over, say, like the Sheriff's Outfit as well. Look at that, 1300 as well. I think this is close to superseding my, uh, my trench gun as well, actually. It would be far better as well at the same time um, than my trench gun in terms of the armor pen. But yeah, that's actually not too bad either. So pretty good, pretty happy with that so far. Uh, Browning gun, look at that, it's over a thousand now. Not too bad at all, not too bad at all. Colt Walker, okay, we've got the, um, uh, what do you call it, what, um, I can't remember what that backpack was, but that's okay, we'll just continue on. Like it never happened, right? Like it never happened. Wondrous hat, bit of an increase on that, very nice. Um, the shoes, give me the shoes. Uh, Wanderer's Jacket, that's actually not bad at all. Getting up to a thousand, well, you know, 700, uh, over 700 now, which is nice. So that'll be capped, um, <laughs> no pun intended, because it's a hat, cap, yeah, yeah okay. Uh, I laugh at my own jokes sometimes. Um, the Browning uh, Mess Bess Musket, that's what you call it, Deputy's Hat. Uh, the Rem 10. Okay, so that's the first one that I've got there um, as an upgrade too, which is nice. Uh, SW1, Wanderer's Boots, thank you. Bit of an upgrade there. Wanderer's Pants, 450. Love to get the um, the uncommon one, the Frontiers, which would be a nice. Which would be very nice, I should say. But, look, it's all R&D, RNG. It's all randomised. We don't know what we're going to get until we see it, so you can only do so much with that. Okay, and that's the last of that one. Nearly up to 1100 on that one there, which is quite nice. 
Uh, fast and load shotgun. We got the sturdy backpack. Got the recurve bow, the ranger, the hunter's backpack, uh, peacemaker. Getting up there a little bit. Deputies, uh, wanderers. So that's that's officially capped now. Unfortunately, uh, six oh four. So we actually break the six hundred barrier with that too. Um, so that's officially capped as well. So I think all of my wanderers outfit is capped um, blueprint wise, which is a good. Uh, place to be in as well because you're not going to get too much um, upgrade ability thereafter which is you know fair enough nearly 1100 with the browning and that's on a level four i think now uh wanderers again that's on level eight wanderers uh hat so we can see that's been capped again no pun intended um, and this is nearly being capped as well. So we're nearly up to 1200 with the M10 riot, which I actually haven't used before. So I'm keen to see how that works out too. Um, improved backpack, wanderer's hat again, and the peacemaker. Got the deputies, the Seston, the deputies again, the Confederate saber, deputies boots, deputies jack. Look at that, I'm nearly up to 50 on the blueprint level, which is insane. It's up to nearly up to level 10. Um, that is that. And another Cestern. And Fast Light Shotgun. Herbalist. Wanderer's Jacket. And we've got the Gunfighters. And the last common troop is complete. So quickly, let's go have a look and just see real quick. Um, just go back and in and go back to to reload it again so yeah so we've got that so we're halfway with the frontier side of things which is great so i'm wrapped with that look at that so the wanderer's jacket at this point in time is better than the frontier obviously when you do get uh more into the uncommons which we're probably going to see a little bit more um frontier uh action um this is obviously going to supersede that but in terms of durability and things like that it is quite good at the moment they're very comparable and for less um, materials, which is a good thing. But let's compare that with the Sheriff's Jacket, which actually supersedes my Sheriff's Jacket. How crazy is that? That's insane. And that's very close and comparable to that. To that. So you've got that there, just so you guys know. Um, but yeah, look at that. And then the hat versus that supersedes that. The pants, 452, 15K. All right, so the defense is a little bit less on the sheriffs but durability is a lot better with the pants just to sort of give you guys a bit of an idea and the sheriff's boots you got 167 13 nearly 14k with the durability and mind you they're not on high blueprint levels too just to sort of put it out there so if i do end up getting um, upgrades and that that might sort of shape the way again kind of thing but then you got the wanderer's boots which is a little bit better than that as well um so yeah there you are very very comparable sets so it gives me a little bit of flexibility knowing that i can use um tier 5 rare sheriff's outfits or just tier 6 common wanderers outfits and depending on what i've got in terms of resources i can either build one or the other it just really depends on where things are at with that so yeah did i end up i ended up oh i did end up um opening up some com uh, uncommon tubes i didn't realize that because I know I had a little bit more. Interesting. I'm just going to put you into spirit, by the way, because I did end up leveling up, which is a nice thing. Which doesn't happen all that often, so which is nice. I just I did, didn't realise I was opening up some uncommon tubes, but there we go. <laughs> there we have it. Let's just continue on with um, with the proceedings here and see what we get out of all of this. Okay. Frontier again. Okay, there you go. So you got a nice bit of a bump up with that, which is very, very good. Um, be nice to get the rest of the Frontiers outfit, <clears throat> please. Ooh, Sheriff, there you go. See, it was a minor upgrade to the Sheriff. Firearm resistance got a bit of a bump as well, which is nice. And guns, uh, something a backpack got a bit of a boost. So a couple of rares in a, in a, in a succession, which is quite nice, which is nice to see. You love to see it, right? Um, okay, Peacemaker, SW2, and Ranger Boots. Getting to the next phase here, 700, clicked over with that, very nice. Ranger, Ranger Backpack, there you go. Oh man, I'm not getting what I want. <laughs> it's a bit of a disappointment, but we are getting some stuff. We are getting some stuff. 
Okay, Frontier hat. I've already got you. Give me the pants. Give me the boots. That'd be nice. Uh, look, you have to go through the junk to get to the good stuff, unfortunately. What do you, what do you, what do you do, right? <clears throat> what do you do? Adversity. Pathfinder. Ranger. Gunfighter. Sheriff's jacket. There you go. So that's a bit of an a bit of an increase and a bit of a buff there. So that is close to comparable now. Um, so there you have it. Uh, Versity, Versiri. Ah, there you go. Frontiers boots. Thank God for that. All right, just give me the pants. <laughs> give us the pants. That'd be great. Um, doesn't look like we're gonna get lucky. Ooh. We got the Borchard Auto Pistol. Nice, nice, nice. I'm going to see what that entails in a moment in terms of uh, build uh, set weapon. Another Sheriff's Outfit upgrade. Push Dagger. Over, nearly 900. 851. Decent. Very decent, actually. Um, all right. So look, so we got some. We got some winners out of this. And my Chieftain uh, backpack got a minor buff, which I'm not going to even bother about. Um, uh, creating all right now let's do the burial ones wanderers hat and wanderers boots nothing fancy schmancy out of that let's do the uncommon nice i take that i really do take that so that's actually not too bad i'm um, getting that up to 1200 nearly 1300 let's go ahead and have a quick sus so now that's actually included as well, which is great. Um, okay, where are you, my good sir? That's what you are going to take. Okay. And these are some of the weapons that I've got here as well. But honestly speaking, there are better weapons out there as well. At the same time, you've got your epics, which I don't have at the moment, unfortunately. But then you've also got your tier five rares that can go over, like you can see here. So you've got that. So the Schofield's capped, but the Winchester isn't capped yet, and neither is my trench gun, which I'm, I'll be keen to see if I can um, get some upgrades in that department there. So we've got the final one. So let's go ahead and open up these fellas and see what we get. I'm hoping we get something good, please. Okay, Klondike Conqueror's Pants. So that's the first out of the T6 rares that I've got. Amazing. Deputy's Backpack, Gunfighter, the Le Mat. oh man, I'm holding out for something good, and that's it. Okay, so, look, it's okay, it's okay, it's not too, too bad, I would have liked to have gotten a little bit more out of that, there we go, that's what you're looking at for the Klondike uh, Conqueror's Pants, and when you're looking at it in the grand scheme of things, so you got 15 in the pelt department. So that is obviously going to take a little bit. Uh, seven in stout leather and you need three tungs tungsten fasteners. So it is going to be quite expensive, but when you look at it um, overall, it's a decent um, decent bit of kit. And it's also got firearm resistance as well. So you got the, uh, you got the ability of having um, uh, snow drifts reduced and firearm resistance as well. So that is actually not too bad when you sort of you know think about it all so yeah look wondrous pants 15k and then you got 17k for the jacket there but if you go back up here um where are the pantaloons i can't see where the pantaloons are i'm just noticing that most of these are well that's already maxed out for a very long time just sort of sussing out all the other ones as well and don't get don't get me wrong end of the day even if you're getting the repetitive um uh resources as well or well, sorry um armor and weaponry you are going to be um benefiting from that as well if you actually make those as well from brand new so so think about that as well so i'm just sort of put that point that out but yeah look all in all um not too bad not too shabby i would have loved a little bit more but you know what can you do what can you do so yeah I, unfortunately i didn't get the frontiers uh, pants, which I'm a little bit disappointed about. So that would have been nice if I did end up getting that, but that's, they're the recipes there, just to sort of give you guys a bit of an idea. 
and they're very very comparable in terms of um, durability um, armor wise as well so there you, there you have it there you have it so the wonder is is not actually not a bad bit of kit at the moment so pretty happy with that and that is fairly comparable as well so very very close to each other so yeah but otherwise um, getting some pretty decent weaponry as well um, and you know having the ability to make that later on it's going to be pretty good so I'm going to be looking forward to that but anyway guys I think that's going to go ahead and do it as you can see I've actually got a couple of um, uh, workbenches on the go so yes as you've seen it um, a few times now, the gun bench is happening. This isn't that far away either, so I'm upgrading my detail bench to tier 6. And that's going to enable me to make some of this stuff as well, which is going to be awesome. So, yeah, it's going to sort of open up the floodgates just a little bit for me. But um, otherwise, for this, um, I've been grinding a little bit as well. So I've been trying to get some resources, some stock piles back up for uh, certain bits and pieces. So I'm not that far away um, to have a, um, a, a bit of a, to have a bit of a run at, um, at certain things, and yeah, so, we're nearly there with that, but anyway guys, thanks for watching, checking out the video, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, share if you can, and if you guys are new to the channel or not, and you'd like to see more, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell icon, so you don't miss out on any future videos, alrighty guys, take it easy from me, and I will catch you guys in the next one.